is a good product, but why doesn't my Black & Decker trimmer feed the line? Hi everybody, I'm Basso Contour. Stay tuned and I'll explain the tricky design and an easy fix. First, let's remove the cap over the reel and you simply press in the tabs on the side and you can easily pop off the top. Later, when you're all done with the spool, it's a simple matter to put the orange top right back on and it just snaps in place. When the trimmer is running, note that it turns counterclockwise like I show here, but it has a special brake mechanism to keep the line from coming out more and more. Here's the key to the design. Notice this little pivoting mechanism inside. Normally, it will not let out line, but when this little pivot mechanism pushes up, then it will briefly let out an inch or two of line. And you can see here, going from a normal position to letting out line. So it has to move freely. Now check out the back of the spool. Look at this funny design. The purpose of this is to keep it from moving. And then when the pivot mechanism moves up, it allows it to move and lets out an inch or so. So normally locked in place, and then when it pushes up, it will allow the line to move and send out about an inch or two of line. So now that you know how it works, you can appreciate that this mechanism I show here has to be completely unobstructed. That is, there can't be any leaves or grass or anything like that. Check out this mechanism and make sure it can pivot up and down very easily. If it cannot, it will not let out line. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Black & Decker has designed a clever mechanism, but the pivot mechanism has to be clear of debris. Once you understand how the line feed works, you can easily fix it. In Dublin, California, I'm Basso Contour. Thanks for watching, everybody.